guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video I want to show you my newest custom which is Hunter from the Gargoyles animated series and the Bad Guys comic that came afterwards. This is based on the design from that comic so if it doesn't look completely familiar if you've only seen the series that is why. Either way, here she is. This is for the same customer who got Demona and has also commissioned a Macbeth. So it needs to fit in scale with them as closely as possible. She's about six and a half inches tall using the female shield agent or uh, Hope Summer's body or Mystique body. So it pretty much is in scale, as close as I could get it really without fabricating the figure from scratch. So here she is. Uh, the head is sculpted from everything but the mouth is sculpted brand new. And the hair is from the DC Universe Classics Young Justice Artemis. I uh, made that fit in and made it poseable. So that's usable there for some nice posing. The mouth that remains is the Mystique mouth, which is actually a really nice sculpt, I think. So I was perfectly happy to leave that there and just re-sculpt everything else. I sculpted the collar, the shoulder pads, all of the arm stuff the uh, thigh holsters and belt and then the strap on the chest the holsters are from Phantom X. I had to sculpt the boots since they are not sculpted on the original figure the boot cuffs here I put those on there and the rest of the body is a mix of Mystique and Hope Summers I don't know where the guns came from but they fit the character perfectly so we went with those they're just about what I needed. The wrist things, I actually didn't sculpt those. Those came from Black Widow, which was perfect because Black, Wid Black Widow was built on this body and this character needed those type of wrist things. So that worked out well. Um, for this center sash strap piece, it's a separate piece so that the articulation still works. Um, also for the thigh holsters, I had to just leave a gap there even though the strap is supposed to go all the way up my customer and I decided that in order to maintain the uh, posability to just leave that gap there and it would be okay. That was really the best option. For the elbow things I just sculpted the circular elbow disc there so that when you bend the elbow it looks like it's still connected as much as I can obviously there's a gap there but it still just looks like one piece so that worked out well enough I think. I'm actually overall really happy with this figure and even though it seems relatively simple it was kind of a pain to do just because of the black on white and then anybody that's painted white knows it's no fun to paint with especially when you're de dealing with black you always you're going back and forth touching things up almost constantly so that was no fun but it comes with the job so I'm happy to have done it I really like this character and I think the figure turned out pretty well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you're familiar with the character then uh, I'm particularly interested in your opinion on how I did on this figure. I think it turned out pretty good. It looks, using this base body really lent itself to the original character. I think it really couldn't have turned out too much better as far as representation goes. So let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for more custom figures, more figure reviews, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.